welcome back and as today marks the 25th of December and uh, all people are celebrating Christmas tonight and of course uh, Egypt is rejoicing together in spite of the pandemic of course we're talking our, uh, taking our precautionary measures but still we have very limited family gatherings inside our houses we have with us uh, live uh, over uh, the phone Dr. Amini Hula and she is the head of the one, uh, one of the prominent NGOs uh, here in Egypt. Uh, good morning, uh, Dr. Hola. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all of you. Uh, let's talk about this very special day and how is it going to be different from other years because, uh, of course, our uh, movement is very limited, the gatherings are limited, uh, the halls are all shut down and uh, we're supposed to be uh, uh, keeping distance from each other. I mean, there are some difficulties while people are uh, um, uh, looking forward to celebrate this very special evening uh, today. We have to respect the um, uh, circumstances. We have to be um, uh, responsible and uh, to postpone any uh, actions could um, uh, uh, put uh, all the community in danger. And I hope people stop uh, playing smart and trying to, you know, feeling happy to uh, break the law. Uh, this is very important. We have to stop uh, uh, thinking this way. Right. Of course, uh, rejoicing together in festivities like that, especially at Christmas time, where uh, Muslims and Christians and all religions, people rejoice together. They eat, they have dinner, and they sit down, and they feel merry, and they in enjoy the festivities together. What do we learn? I mean, uh, there are some uh, very good traditions uh, that are supposed to be taken on uh, nights like that, like inviting uh, uh, the, the less, um, I mean, privileged, like uh, uh, distributing food and uh, sweets to uh, our neighbors and uh, uh, our closest, uh, the nearest people to us who might be unable or living alone or something. If you'd like to elaborate on that, over that. Uh, we have to do the minimum we can do without uh, uh, putting them in danger. And if we love somebody, we have to, to be uh, responsible and to deal with him in a, uh, a way uh, to avoid uh, putting him in danger. So uh, the one family at home, they can celebrate together. Uh, we can uh, use open areas. If there is any uh, open air areas, we can use it, no problem. Uh, try to, uh, of course, anybody has minimal um, uh, symptoms. He should uh, uh, isolate himself automatically, not to try to comfort himself. I'm okay, and still putting himself in the... Uh, 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 in the gatherings, uh, this uh, it's not a, a game now, and it, it, it's obviously very dangerous. And we have to be responsible and uh, try to avoid uh, the worst which, which could uh, come if we don't uh, respond from now to this uh, precautions. Right, but I was I was talking about the spirit of Christmas. I mean that merry spirit, in spite of everything that's surrounding us, in spite of all the difficulties, the beautiful spirit of Christmas, rejoicing, eating uh, the f festivities and meals together and everything. Uh, this also, as we celebrate Christmas, a, survi a surviving, a surprising number of Egyptian traditions have also survived from ancient Egypt and perhaps one of the most striking in Coptic calendar. Uh, how Egyptians abide by traditions from your own point of view? Actually, they, of course, they, uh, they like uh, uh, to enjoy uh, uh, this uh, event, which is very, um, uh, make people feel very happy. Uh, but still, we have to put um, uh, some uh, uh, points in front of us before we uh, gather together, especially we are in winter time and it's cold outside. Uh, we would prefer to be in closed area to feel warm. So it's very, very dangerous for us. Some sacrifice should be uh, offered uh, to avoid uh, uh, worse circumstances could happen later. Right. Do you have uh, special memories uh, for Christmas while you were in school with friends, visiting uh, uh, friends before, before COVID-19? Of 
course, we used to, uh, especially in the childhood uh, uh, time, we used to have um, uh, enjoying um, uh, fixing the uh, trees, especially with our Christian uh, friends, because they make a lot of um, uh, nice uh, touches to, uh, to this uh, event. So we used to uh, help them to uh, fix it. We used to go to our uh, friends. Uh, of course, our neighbors sometimes uh, come to us, uh, to us and enjoy the evening together. Uh, but actually, still, uh, we can uh, have the same spirit uh, even without uh, putting ourselves in danger or our uh, dear uh, people. Uh, you, you have seen uh, uh, through the television people in Europe, they used to even to sing in the balconies and uh, try to encourage each other uh, through uh, 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 playing music um, with uh, uh, all the precautions through the uh, balconies or whatever. We have to be creative. We have to put ideas to make people happy without uh, breaking the, uh, uh, the precautions we need to, to, to take care of. As we all know that the Europe and the United States and most of the European countries and worldwide countries, not only Europe, are on shutdown because of the ex uh, a rise in numbers of COVID-19. But here in Egypt, the weather is beautiful, the numbers aren't that high, but at the same time, it's one of the most uh, and uh, best opportunities to spend Christmas here, of course, keeping distance and taking precautionary measures, but probably uh, Egypt is one of the most suitable countries at this time of the year and during the pandemic uh, to be providing uh, festivities or uh, rejoicing with, in the nice weather for people to spend Christmas. Tourists, I'm talking about tourists in general. Yeah, of course they can have better uh, circumstances here in Egypt mm -hmm. because uh, up till now we are a very, very lucky country for no um, scientific reason <laughs> discovered yet. Uh, we have a minimal um, a number of uh, cases uh, in comparison with other countries. We have uh, even the strains of the uh, COVID-19 is uh, much less um, uh, fatal than the uh, uh, European uh, kind and American one uh, for no uh, uh, known reason so far. But we shouldn't uh, yeah, uh, push our luck uh, too far. For the uh, tourists, they have already, um, uh, even if they are staying at hotels, okay, they have nice views. They have the uh, river uh, side. They can enjoy open air. Uh, for them, it won't matter uh, the cold weather because they come from a very cold weather. So they can enjoy the open air uh, activities and uh, places, uh, which is much less danger uh, in comparison with uh, closed areas. Right. Uh, we also, uh, when we remember festivities like Christmas, like uh, uh, the Eid uh, for Muslims, like other festivities that uh, ancient Egyptian festivities that rejoice all Egyptians together, we should always remember love and peace and uh, also uh, grace and uh, rejoicing uh, with, in peace both uh, Egyptians uh, and other nationalities or Muslims and uh, Christians together is a very good significance uh, for solidarity. If you like to elaborate over the spirit of uh, these festivities, like for example Christmas, Muslims also are celebrating today. Of course, we have to recognize that uh, there are d different dates for the, if we are talking about the uh, birth of the um, uh, Christ, we have different dates according to different um, uh, religious uh, 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 considerations. But for the uh, 31st of uh, uh, December, actually it's not according to any uh, of them, it's just the beginning of the uh, year. Mm. But uh, for, uh, for European uh, uh, Christians, the, uh, they celebrated uh, before, uh, at the 24th, and for the Egyptian and the Oriental um, Christians, they celebrated on 7th of uh, January. But actually, 
51 is not belonging to anybody. <laughs> it's just the beginning of the year. Exactly. Um, by Christmas time, if you, of course, uh, you become familiar with scenes like uh, Salvation Army personnel or people, members at the top of every street, ringing the bells, I mean in Europe and the United States, uh, gathering uh, uh, or um, um, taking from people um, gifts and donations for the poor. That's what happens in, uh, in the United States and Europe. But here in Egypt, we do not have uh, that particular uh, trait of Salvation Army, but we also do the same thing in another way. We collect gifts, we collect food, we collect sweets and we collect all uh, the, uh, you know, gestures, good souvenirs to exchange it by Christmas time, even Muslims. Yeah, of course. Actually, everybody has his own uh, historical mythology. You know, this is uh, fairy tales from uh, uh, this country. We, we, of course, we uh, like them and we have our own in, in, in our other uh, occasions. Uh, but it's nice to... Uh, 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 celebrate with them to uh, do our own touches, uh, not only in Christmas, but uh, all over the year, especially with this uh, pandemic. Uh, still, people, especially uh, Christian, are doing the same here in Egypt. Mm. What is the best thing to be done during COVID-19 while you are celebrating Christmas? Of course, enjoying festivities together by evening but also, uh, I mean, something that could be useful, that could be constructive to society. As you are in civil society, and you're very much interested in uh, um, civil work. We have to put in our mind, in, uh, every day is a gift, every year is a gift. It's a, it's a, a new year with uh, new achievements, with new survivals, with new uh, hopes and uh, dreams. Uh, we put it for ourselves and for the others. Dream for yourself and dream for the others. Try to help yourself and help the others. Uh, get rid of uh, things you don't need. Make, uh, make people happy with them and start a uh, new year with uh, feeling happy, feeling uh, giving. Uh, this makes you much happier than uh, taking or having uh, new stuff. But when you make people happy, you will feel much happier. Mm. Right. Uh, uh, what are your prayers uh, for uh, 2021 as we are approaching uh, the end of uh, the year and we're having our resolutions and we're having our uh, uh, new uh, aspirations and new uh, dreams for a prosperous new year? We used to have uh, a lot of prayers. We used to have uh, we used to have a lot of dreams. But actually, uh, with with what uh, uh, is happening now uh, all over the world, we have all uh, should have one prayer to survive. This year is just to survive, not to do anything else. This is the best achievement we can have, and the best prayer we should all uh, uh, think of. Mm. Right. Uh, at this uh, very special time, uh, um, Egyptians, uh, I mean, uh, in crisis or a time of uh, difficult times, Egyptians always are unified together. And uh, the civil society is very active in Egypt. And they uh, provide facilities and provide services to the lower income brackets and uh, uh, the less privileged and uh, the people who are in need. Uh, on a special day like that, what are your plans as the head of uh, one of the very prominent organizations that provide facilities for a specific sector in society, uh, which is uh, the uh, street kids? We are trying to uh, think of, uh, in our way, uh, how to uh, help people by uh, providing them work, not giving mm. them donations. Mm. So. We, but we put different strategi strategies to help them without being uh, uh, put them in danger by uh, uh, being together in a uh, small area. So we start to uh, distribute the things we should, they should work at home to, to let them work at home. And then uh, they uh, deliver the stuff after uh, finishing them. Uh, still, uh, our system is the same to let people work, not wait 
not to wait for the nations, but mm. in different uh, maneuvers to avoid uh, the uh, social uh, uh, danger uh, of being together in small places. Right. Uh, this uh, very uh, optimistic note, Dr. Ameni Hula. You are uh, have a, you own a very uh, prosperous, very ambitious uh, NGO. Uh, many thanks to you and a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. All the best to you. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. We're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show. So stay with us.